Yes, online and Gabalaba Kugode TV. Uh, they are joining in over Zoom. Wanna what to love it? What to love the era again of one? What to love it up to Friday? What to get of one at Maliza? A powerful overnight. Mukama Kutuere. Oh, Muksa. Well, just like I told you, it's a month for the ladies, and also this particular Wednesday, to take a take a match to the Kuba Miboka era. It's going to be about ladies, but also men inclusive somewhere, somehow. So, then a program, a year of lamp to you a day, still a day of a child, and a toggle, or collaborate, or Kugani, but overcoming rejection and its impact on our mental health as women. Yeah, men, you'll come in its impact on women and also we would want to see how best what are some of the solutions of overcoming rejection for example but then before i go any further allow me welcome my wonderful guest in the studio atenga lero silina msawo e lero silina msawo si doctor lero ndine pastor daniel derate bagenda kuba tuvuzako then oluva nyuma atengenda kuongera okumuba nyonyola yani teyongera mutegera then eventually tubenga atetu yingira mulamwa gwa fe ogolwa lero pastor kwaniriza Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Luganda is not your thing. Luganda, okay. I will try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make yeah. you speak Luganda. Yeah. So, our viewers are excited to see you, so you can just greet them and then we can continue with our topic of discussion. Just say hi to them, then eventually we're going to be able to start. All right. Hi. Uh, good evening, viewers. I'm glad that uh, today I've been able to again come and uh, be part of the show uh, on this beautiful TV station. Uh, like uh, my host has said, uh, today we want to discuss the impact of rejection and then we so that we can be able to overcome it and uh, be able to take care of our mental health because our mental health is very critical and uh, it is... Um, something that we really need to take care of thank you thank you so much pastor daniel directive i think i'm not massacre well anyway on a sad note to to success in aqua for 80 i want to win nana dollar be massacre and i'm feeling do a cover it's very unfortunate it's so heartbreaking and mm. so sad next servant to come away sir Agumie mitima, you know people are so much heartbroken because they don't know what is going on. But God is so faithful amidst the trials, amidst the death and whatsoever it is. Mukama Mwesugwate to Saba that him alone intervenes in the situation that is happening in Masaka. Tetumani, police, military, whatsoever, but God alone can intervene in any way possible. Oba chusa mitima jaba, antu haba kolebi obyo na, haba gena maso no kutaba, antu God is able to do all that so we pray for protection over everyone that is around massacre greater massacre all the areas around massacre and even beyond the entire uganda we all need protection from all those activities of the devil yeah and we believe god is watching over us we believe god is going to be able to watch over us well putting that aside today i do have uh, pastor drilly badri tabi daniel and his well, he's a high school teacher and also an inspirational speaker. He's a holistic counselor and also a coach. He's also a pastor at Masaka Pentecostal Church. Well, his purpose is about to inspire and bring hope, bring healing, restoration, empower, and challenge people to turn their dreams into reality and also see the realistic transformation of the generations in both rural and urban settings. Well, the pastor I have tonight is... Um, he's a writer of the book Overcoming Rejection. Yes, I think you've ever come across this book. And today we want to go in to pick a few to end alone and be munabimu, be together or call in relation to mental health. How can we? How can we overcome re rejection and how can we protect our mental health in the sense of overcoming rejection? So today it's our main focus tonight and Nedakta and Kanga Mubuza. Abamu kufete tumanyi rejection chechi. Tugamba bugambe yogundi tanja gala. But maybe it's just rejection. Ata abamu tukuzeba tugambo guguba muoyo. It's spiritual. Well, is it even spiritual or is it physical? Is it scientific? What it is anyway? I'm going to be asking a pastor what 
it is about rejection? Well, uh, rejection is uh, a broad, a broad uh, aspect of life, which involves um, a lot of abandonments, where somebody does not want you to be part of their life mm. for whatever reason. So every time you try uh, to come close to them, in most cases they push you away from them. Mm. They don't give you a sense of belonging. Yeah. So instead of being accepted to be family, you are pushed out so that uh, you are not part of what is happening. And uh, this a lot, we see it in all forms of life. We've seen this uh, in our families. We've seen people who are abandoned and uh, who are sent away, who are denied all rights just because they are not loved and cared for. And uh, in most cases, um, this brings a lot of pain, which pain only the person who goes through the pain understands how it feels. But then uh, because of the pains people go through, a lot of times they make wrong choices. Mm. In most cases, things go out of hand. And uh, like I was saying on a sad note, what is happening in Masaka, if you look at it, you realize that uh, most of the people who are involved, chances are they are people who are just trying to prove a point. Maybe they have been abandoned, they just want to uh, you know, retaliate, maybe mm. they want to revenge, maybe they just want to try to do something to show that actually they are also in existence, but in, in a negative sense. You know? And uh, we've lost so many people, and, uh, but I pray that God will continue to watch over us and he will help us go through this. But still, ultimately, the feelings of being abandoned, the feelings of being rejected, the feelings of being not liked uh, brings a lot of emotional pain, like I was saying. Mm. And uh, this pain makes people to make wrong choices because you are... Your choices come from uh, your feelings, and your feelings come from your thoughts. Okay. So as you think about uh, how somebody who you, you thought or you knew will actually uh, belong, or you will have a belonging with, then it uh, comes out to say you are not part of us, or you're not part of me. You know, it pushes you to the wall. That's why right now in, in, in all our cities in Uganda, we have street children and street adults just because they have nowhere they can actually belong. Mm. So they are trying to look for survival. So in the process, we are seeing these crimes uh, which are on the rise. We are seeing um, in terms of families, we are seeing families breaking, we are seeing domestic violence on the rise, we are seeing uh, people being abused mm. at all fronts. And uh, its overall results are really very negative. <laughs> That's why we want to see uh, that uh, we can actually together get out of this mess. Mm. Uh, we can be able to heal from the wounds, the emotional wounds. And then we can be able to overcome every obstacle. We overcome those rejections, the bitter feelings, so that we get out better people who can be able to transform lives and who can also be able to do what God has called them to do. Amen. Okay. Okay. Uh that is a brief introduction about rejection and well we're going to focus so much on to its impact on our mental health just like i told you i've, I've earlier asked a guest of which gender is affected more than the other and then he's like women are so much affected than men <laughs> i was like hey, everything is about women 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 but well anyway of course, we can deal with it, yeah, if we learn better ways of overcoming all this and be in better positions of making sure that our mental health is really protected. As women, we can, you know, we can have happy families, we can give birth to health babies and also have a conducive environment for each one of us at home. So rejection is killing more youths and adults 
and their dreams. So not only women, but youths and adults are also killed more than, and the pains of rejection can result in so many severe effects like killing of self-esteem, the passion, the dreams and vision, and in a sense of creating a sense of confusion, bitterness, anger, jealousy, promoting uh, domestic violence, poor health, separation and divorce, depression, suicide, murder, name it, all those that have been listed there as a result of rejection. And if you talk of all those, they target our mental health. And well, someone might be asking, mm, why focus on mental health? Anyway, what is mental health? After talking about rejection, let me have Pastor to tell us what is mental health and why is it important to focus on our mental health? You see, health in general, just like any other uh, 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 thing, everybody wants to have a balanced life, right? So uh, when uh, you have a toothache, it paralyzes everything around your mouth and uh, mm. everything about you. True. You don't want to have anything come into your mouth. Even the way you laugh, you try to narrow your mouth so that you don't want anything actually to enter your mouth because of the pain you have, uh, because of the health of your tooth. Equally, the mind. When you talk about mental health, many times people just think that uh, when you, you talk about uh, mental health, it's about uh, uh, its illness, maybe now sort of to use the word people normally use out there. So and so as, as running mad. Yes. Then they think that is actually now because of the mental health of the person which is bad. Hmm. But mental health on its uh, totality, it's actually a good thing to be able to take care of the mental health so hmm. that we don't end up with mental illness. We take care of the mental health to avoid mental, mental illness. illnesses. Well, wow. and uh, you realize that uh, f through the pains yeah. people have of uh, the rejections, have been abandoned, been left out, and uh, not been sheltered, and all that. When it goes to the extreme, then we see the the after effect. That's how we now we are we are seeing murders happening. Mm -hmm. We are seeing abuses of of all kinds. We are seeing people carry panga to chop. To butcher others just as if they are animals they no longer have the heart to love and care for others just because of the pain maybe they have also been through and uh, there are people who even tell, tell you that uh, me i will look for every opportunity to revenge uh, you know why because of the th ill things that have gone through the mind i just want to give you a simple uh, example here why we're talking about mental health? I came with uh, this egg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is an egg. And uh, at least in Uganda, we are at least every home at least eats chicken and the, 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 the chicken lay eggs and stuff. Looking at this egg as an example to reflect to our mental health, to reflect our minds. This egg, what do you know about this egg? Mm, it's a source of proteins. Very good. It's, um, it nourishes the skin. Good. Women use it to no clean No wonder you're looking skin. good. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, it, it, it helps in bone growth okay. and development. Yes. Mm, what else? It's a source of income. Yes, because this egg is 500 shillings. At least across the towns I've gone to in Uganda, mm. an egg is 500 shillings. That means it is a source of income. It is a source of wealth. It's a source of wealth. It's uh -huh. a source of satisfaction. Okay. Um, mm, what else? And if all factors are constant, mm. this egg has a potential to give life. It gives life, true. Yeah. It can rebirth. It, it can rebirth. Meaning that from this one egg, a hen comes and then this one hen lays even more, more eggs. Sure. So the circle continues. And then we see growth and development mm. and many other things. But if this egg, now here it is cracked. If you take this egg and keep it the way it is for two, three days, what happens to this egg? Two to three days, it can rot. Yeah, it rots. After rotting, what happens? It stinks. Mm, yeah. Okay. Now, if you are having a, uh, a broken egg like this, a broken mental 
Yeah, a broken cage. mind. A broken oh. mind. Okay. Now, instead of giving the life that was supposed to have come out of this, there will be no life. No satisfaction. No satisfaction. No income, you no can't money. sell this egg to anybody. No one will buy it. Mm. And first of all, even because it is already stinking, it is, it is, it, uh, you know, it um, disorganizes the environment, yeah. the smell of the community. So exactly that's what happens. Now what the rejection does is just what I have done here. Give it a knock and it cracks. Now when you have this cracked egg, what happens is you are not going to expect life that should have come out of this. Yeah, mm. because then we want to see how do we best take care of this egg so that we are able to get life out of it, so that we are able to get satisfaction out, out of, it. of it. But then what is actually happening is because of the rejections, the minds have been cracked, their wounds, they are, they are bleeding everywhere, there are blood clots everywhere. <laughs> Death is happening everywhere. Mm. Nothing is moving. So when we talk about mental health, we just want to talk about how best can we be able to take care of this egg so that we don't have the cracks, we don't have these broken parts of this egg, so that this egg brings out the best out of it. Okay. Um, thank you so much, Pastor. Well, talking about impact, the impact of overcoming rejection on mental health just like we've been explained to that mental health is a person's conditions with regard to their psychological and emotional well-being so and well mental then health if you consider health if, if you go into health for it it's a state of the complete well-being of an individual so that is health mentally physically psychologically emotionally so that means it's very important to have your health intact in all aspects physically, emotionally, mentally, it has to be intact. Well, so, before we go into the solutions, Lekatulabe, Bichi, Ebideta, Rejection, what are some of the causes? And then, how can I tell that I'm facing rejection? I've <laughs> been rejected. <laughs> it's the bitter truth to know, oh, Wagani, Wagani, mm -hmm. you've been rejected. But let's get to know the causes that these are the, some of the things that lead to rejection. And then how do I get to know that I've been rejected? And after getting to know that I've been rejected, I can know how can I deal with this after I've known the root cause. Exactly. Uh, looking at rejection, uh, you see, one thing that uh, we always do is uh, we do more of lamenting. Mm. And the book of Lamentations has a few chapters compared to the book of Acts of the Apostles, which has more chapters. Okay. And today I want to bring out that, uh, yeah, we have been lamenting about rejections. And mm. Lamentations has only a few chapters. So the book of Acts has at least 28 chapters. That means we're going to take more actions. We're going to act more to be able to deal with the, the things we've been lamenting on. We've been lamenting that, oh, I've been rejected. Yeah, I'm being abandoned. But then we don't ask ourselves why. What has brought out this? Yeah. So today I want to talk about the why bit. We can be rejected. There are two sides I've pointed out in this book. One is the personal contributions. You can be rejected because of your own bad behaviors. Okay? Your own bad behaviors, your habits. Mm. Your bad character, your habits bring out rejection, definitely. Nobody wants to associate with the a wrong element. That's even why in the Bible we say what? We say that, you know what? If you are right, a bad company corrupts. Character. So, no one wants to associate with the wrong character. Mm. So, if you have a negative and bad characters, definitely you will be rejected, sure. personally. Mm. Number two, the whole aspect of rebellion. Rebellion is where you just refuse to listen to what authority says or what the state is saying or what uh, other people are saying. You just choose to do things your own way. You just choose to be rebellious. You just choose to be, you know, a rebel in a way. Mm. So definitely no one will associate with you. Number three, the negative personality traits. Now, there are negative personality traits. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses. But sometimes if the weaknesses are 
over shouting than, the, than uh, your strengths, mm. definitely no one will associate with you. So sometimes God has not helped some people to deal with their negative traits. So some of those negative traits attract rejections. Okay. So on a personal level, those are the areas. But then coming to the things that you have no control over, and they just come. I'm sure you have also said it, <laughs> that you not marry a short man. Thank God you, you, have, you have never said it. So you can see that some people will tell you, I cannot marry a short guy or a short woman. Mm. And because of your physical stature that you did not choose, some of them reject you just because of your physical stature. <laughs> Yeah, that one you have no control over. Number two, somebody can reject you because of your skin color. True. Me too, I've suffered that before. They told me I was very dark. Anyway, but uh, uh, me, I know I'm not that very dark anyway. You know, <laughs> there's also uh, something to do with the racism. Uh, uh, others can reject you because of uh, positional insecurity. Mm. You know, so many titles come with... Um, benefits and the privileges so some people who have uh, titles or seats or positions they try to prevent others to come closer thinking they will actually overtake them as a result rejection comes mm. also negative recommendation by others somebody like you have no issue somebody said that girl don't me i know that girl and they can fabricate a story that can really appear to be true Mm. And they give a negative report about you. And not, not knowing you show up, you just get this negative attitude towards you. Of course, there's that whole bit of jealousy and envy. Others don't, they wish they were at your position or they wish they were like you. So they can just re reject you because of that. There is also the whole bit of status. You don't have a good status. I'm sure if you take uh, your young man home, that you want him to go home. The first question they will ask is, uh, who is he, what does he do? What does he have? To be able to see, to see which status does he, that's why they will tell you, know your, know your size, know your, know your status. You know. Also faith. There are people who have been raised because of faith. Mm. In Masaka, there is no way you can become the HM of Masaka SS unless you are a Muslim, even if you are, you are the best teacher in whichever field, because it is a Muslim school. And also I know of schools where they cannot employ uh, Muslims, just because they said this is not our faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all those can come in. Of course there is the whole bit of poverty, no one wants to, to, to be with a broke guy. So as long as there is poverty that comes, definitely there will be rejections that will also show up. Mm. There is this old bit of uh, witchcraft. I'm not saying that I'm promoting it or I'm talking highly of it because I know that God that I serve has mm. the power to destroy witchcraft. True. But we've seen people whose lives have been a mess, who have been uh, rejected at all fronts because of witchcraft. So all those are some of the causes but then ultimately, when you look at it, you can group it. Like the way I've grouped it here, there is uh, rejections that uh, come from spiritual aspect. They are rejects, for example, generational rejections. For example, because of the decrees or covenants that were made. You see that if uh, so and so, if the grandmother was rejected, she, she, she got pregnant, and then the, the, the boyfriend abandoned and chased her. She gives birth, she becomes a single mother. And then this daughter also grows up, goes through the same similar situations. Mm. Before you know it, it becomes a general thing. Yeah. Because of that. Then if there are issues that are coming because of generational issues, and they're coming because of the spiritual aspects, deal with them spiritually. So that you're able to understand what is the cause of this. Is it because of finance? Is it because of the social? Is it because of the of the people I'm, I, I, I am with? Is it because of what? So that you're able to gauge and understand what is the cause of this rejection. And once you understand it, then you can be able to deal with it. Mm. Because I can assure you today, you only do what you know. <laughs> you can only do what you know. Yeah. And also, the truth you know about anything 
is the thing that will set you free. So if you know the truth of your rejections and the, how it came about, then you will have the right step to, to take to be able to deal with it. Okay, so now those are the causes. Yeah. I've been in with for rejection. Mm. Uh, what are some of the indicators mm. that I'm being rejected? There are so many. There are so many. Like I've, I've put in this book here. Have you been in a place where you are isolated from others? Others are here, they tell you, ah, you go and be there. Don't, we don't want you to see you with these ones. You be there. You are isolated from others. Mm. That is one way. Number two, you are denied rights or you are denied your privileges. For example, if uh, you are a child in the home, now maybe you are a stepchild. Mm. There are things that even when you feel you are also part of this, you will have boundaries still. You know. And then there are also things. <laughs> so there are so many. There are so many uh, because of time. But we can just, let me just uh, peruse through a few. There is that whole bit of abandonment where you come and you need something, but still you can be abandoned. Say, this one, we don't have anything to do with you. Sort yourself. Mm -hmm. There is insults. You know, I have failed to understand why some people will uh, call you names. Mbwa gwe. Mbizi gwe. Musambwa gwe. Mulambo gwe. You know but how they call you names of uh, like you are a dead person. For you, you are like a pig. For you, and those things are actually hurtful. And you know, if somebody really calls you those, they don't wish you well. All they want to do is they want to inflict pain in your soul. They want you to feel bad. They want you to feel as though you are. A pig. In fact, one child was performing poorly. And uh, the dad showed up to ask why he was performing poorly. And then the guy told the dad that, uh, I am stupid. And the father used to call him stupid. Every time he, anything he does, you are stupid. Everything he does, you are stupid. So there was no positive affirmation that has ever come. And I can even tell you, for some of the parents who are out there, I am very convinced many people have never heard the word, I love you, from their parents. As in, I love you? Yeah, just, I love you, my child. I love you, my daughter. I love you, my... Not there. All they hear is, Muzimu Gwe. You are just a, pro a problematic staff, you know? So all those show that you are not welcome in here. You can be falsely accused for something you don't even know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> so those you are know? some of so the indicators. Many being despised and all that. Have you ever? I know you've been to school mm. many times. Primary, secondary. This is where it happens the most. Have you ever been to uh, a school where when some teachers are on duty? When they just appear in the compound, talk nothing, just stand there, look around. Order is uh, in a place. Their teachers, when they're on duty, even when they're carrying a stick and running around, that go inside, people are laughing and they're not minding business. They are despised, they know this one cannot do anything. Yeah. So, all those are some of the forms that you know that, hey, oh, why? <laughs> Thank Here. you so much, Pastor. <laughs> And thank you so much to our viewers. To chayo gera ku ngeri jetuinza okuangulo kuganiwa. How to overcome rejection and also its impact on our mental health. Tuwa gala nyoku laba nti. Obongo wa fevuli protected so much. Because obongo wa buba anga tevuli protected. Busa wolo kuvira kevi into vinji. Okufailinga mubula mbo. You can't perform well. Oboli kumulimo you can't perform well at work. In class, you can't perform well because your mental health is not in a good state. You can't, there isn't anything that you can do well. Even that one particular thing that is a talent, you know, it's your, it's something that God really blessed you with, a talent. You can't even do it well because your mental state is not in the right place. It's intact. It's not intact. So, I want to, I'll ask our producer to put us the numbers that we can be using. For example, if in any way you would want to call, you want to contribute something to our topic of discussion, 0200 90 
0010 but then bobo kwa sa whatsapp ya um or sabalo kwa zesa 0788140741 bobo liku facebook i've seen people watching on facebook the page is google tv uganda or you can use my page gift in a kainga tukenda kubate ebibuzo tobi soma wano wabude buli mkota ambulanga wenaba gambi eno wiki wiki ya bachala Yes, Abachala Kumakele Fugo Sport Church, but I guess a conference that is entitled Anchored by His Love. So, I'm going to get a rejection at the end of the day. We want the love of the Almighty God to take over, you know. No woman, you don't take a You've been rejected. Many auntie, there is one person that really loves you so much. You'll be able to deal with all these things. So that is the theme for the conference. Conference in Etan Sedero. Yeah, Etan Sedero. I think again, I've been in Chan. It's Friday. Today we've started at 4, even tomorrow at 4. Paka ku Friday. To get up and attend Sawa kumi is a kaungezi mpaka mm, 6.30. So beda ko gude TV or you can use the different social media platforms. Obo so wolo genda ko makele for gospel church page. You know jako link ya zoom. That's if you can't go on Facebook. You can't be watching live in your sitting rooms. Wofune your link. You'll be able to join in and be part of the conference. But also we ask you to send in your contributions. I mean your questions are very important. But speakers wafe betuina they are very amazing very very amazing atenga bibo gera ko byankizo nyo ngo mchalo byetaga mwalo obyetaga omwami obyetaga buliomu yona joli obyetagira dala so ngancha ina musomba daniel mu studio katugende tulabe the solutions that time is running so fast yes any illustrations as enja ulo is a detailed person at raza majia ina wana chats zagenda kutulaga but the most important thing Today, we want to see the solutions to overcoming rejection. Most of us have been rejected in one way or the other. But let's go, go into the solutions. Then, Yes, Pastor. Yes. You know, like I was saying, we can uh, overcome rejection. Once you now understand why. Okay. Uh, looking at my charts here. Looking at uh, one side, there is no one who... Can you raise it a, a okay. little? Looking at uh, our pictures here, you see that uh, when you're in this place of pain, mm. yeah, everything goes wrong. You see pain, all you're seeing is pain. And there is no way you can think right. And that explains why many people in then reach a place of confusion. What do I do next? And uh, what the enemy does, the enemy brings you to show you how this is. All you see is a roadblock. You are seeing these uh, animals. Uh, the lion is there, the snake, the viper is there, the leopard is there. And this is a, a place where if you're not very careful, you then make wrong choices. Because it's a place of hopelessness. Mm. And this is where many of us have lost our dear ones to suicide. This is where many of us have lost our children in the streets. Because of the confusion, because of the, of the things that they're going through. But I want to still say there is still hope. Hope is available. Mm. How do we then overcome? Know that uh, there is nothing that happens for nothing. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Okay. Like I said it here at that time when I was here, I said that uh, I am very glad for the eight girls who told me no after we had gone far with our relationships. The eight heartbreaks, the eight disappointments gave me the appointment to my lovely wife. Mm. You know? So, if it wasn't for the eight heartbreaks, I would not be where I am now. I would not be enjoying the wife I'm enjoying now. Mm. I will not be having what I am having now because I learned lessons. There are things I was able to discover about myself. Why is that things are not working for me the way it should have worked? So you're able to understand and know. But then getting to the solutions, one thing that I want to still emphasize here is one. The whole bit of forgiving yourself. 
forgiving. I know we've talked about forgiveness everywhere you go. They're talking about forgiveness. You know what? You can forgive strangers, but it is sometimes very hard for you to forgive your own family members. I wonder why. But even when you get to a place where you can forgive your family members, sometimes you find it very hard to forgive yourself. There are things you end up saying, you know what, it was my fault. Yeah. It was, and then you get hard on yourself. And then that's when you don't see any value in yourself. But if you choose to forgive yourself, first of all, you forgive yourself, then you forgive others. Things will begin to change in your life. That's when you begin to see things right. Without forgiveness, I can assure you, you will continue in the pain. Anytime you go, when you remember the pain, you cry. Even when things are okay, you just sit there, you begin to cry. Mm. I know sometimes, like me as a pastor, sometimes I cry. When I'm, uh, I'm uh, praying, I'm worshiping God, I cry. Why? Because I remember where God picked me and where he has brought me. But sometimes you still cry because of the pains of whatever happened to you 20 year, years ago, 20, 30 years ago. And that's how some people have locked other people permanently in their hearts and they threw away the keys. So that nobody should easily come and tell them, please come and open. But I want to encourage, forgive yourself for whatever happened. Amen. Forgive others who have wronged you. And that is when you will begin to see breakthrough. Also, learn who is close to you. Because you are the average of the five people you spend most of your time with. So if you are dealing with rejections, you are dealing with the pains of rejection, who are you close to? Are the, are the people who are close to you, are they helping you to get out or they are telling you to join them and you go in the pit? Mm -hmm. Because that is how, you see this other picture here. There are people who will rather tell you, ah, come and we go for party, come and we go and drink, come and mm. we go and have drugs, come and we will feel good. But actually when they are destroying you more. So who are you close to determines how far you go in life. All of us will go through pains of rejections. Yeah. That's why Jesus, who was even most rejected and most talked about, on rare occasions when you, you hear that he was alone, he was always with his friends, he was always with the disciples. If he wasn't with the twelve, at least he was with the three. But then the question is, who are those close to you? Are they making you better or they're making you bitter? Another area that I want to look at, also I want us to think about is, like I was saying, you cannot deal with the spiritual matters with the physical weapons. Yeah? If, it, if you have done your mapping, like the way I did my mapping, mm -hmm. I discovered that our family uh, was built on polygamy. Yeah? The Muse had his 13 wives. Mm -hmm. And it was, in fact, the more wives you had, <laughs> by then, the greater you were. So people were all looking at being great by marrying very many wives. Yeah. So when uh, it came down, it is written down, my father was excommunicated because he refused to marry many wives. In fact, they brought for him a wife and they told him, open the, uh, your door, that visitor is your visitor and from today henceforth, she's your wife. The guy left home, he said, okay, let me come back. That is the last time he was there. He took off. When he came back, said, we brought you a wife, you refused. So he had to shoulder everything by himself. <coughs> okay. And uh, the same way. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Yes, are you? Fine, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, is this good, good evening? Yes, please. Your names and where are you calling us from? I'm um, uh, Yeah, I'm calling from Kassana. My name is Evodias, Bukenya. Yes, Bukenya, nice to hear from you. Oh, that's my friend. <laughs> yes, <laughs> BK, BK. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes, my friend. How are you? I'm okay, my friend. Long, long time too. Do you know how long it is? Many years. Yeah, I really appreciate God for what he's doing in your life. Eh? Amen, amen. Yeah, and... Uh, Lord is giving God the glory for what He's doing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Amen. We thank what God. What we share is really, really important to, uh, to the people and to the community. It is healthy and meaningful. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you, Wakenya. Maybe before you go, just just one one question before you go. Have you ever been rejected at any one time? What? Have you ever been rejected? Uh, uh, yeah, I've been rejected before. Okay, and how did you go over it? Uh, rejection is rejection is something you you not perceive as a human. Mm. It, it normally comes from the other side. Mm -hmm. As much as you always have that perception that you're going to be accepted, rejection always comes. Mm. In a way, rejection is a spirit which you must attack every time and anywhere. I wanted to go there. Growing up, they used to tell us, Exactly. Yes. Like rebuke that spirit of rejection. Mm. And then, anyway, let me first let Bukenya go. Bukenya, thank you so much for watching Google Day TV and the health show. We wish you a good night. Yeah, that's actually where I was going. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you, bro. Okay. Now, coming to the spiritual bit, you see that these things are spiritual. Some of these things are decreed. I quoted the example, like I was saying, uh, from my family tree. Everything was about polygamy. Mm. Okay? So when uh, you choose to marry one wife, you are abandoned, you are rejected, and you are actually excommunicated from the family because mm. that is uh, not what's supposed to be there. But then uh, the other thing is you've heard of people who say, a wafe. Tetukola chino. Ewafe. Tetukola chino. Ewafe. Because there has been a spiritual battle that is taking place and mm -hmm. their, their, their decrees and the covenants that we established. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, thank you for the program. Welcome, sir. Your names and where are you watching us from? My name is Richard Isemanda, watching from Lugazi. Yes, Richard. How is Lugazi? Okay, any questions, any submissions? Uh, I just wanted them eh? mm. briefly to talk about in the speech of addiction one day. Eh? Mm. Our encounter with addiction at my place of work. Eh? Mm -hmm. We are all my fellow workers. We give a fair increment, but we believe <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come through. I was not given. <laughs> But this mission does not only go with the prayer, mm. but also with the self examination. Exactly. Yes, you need to examine yourself. How do you go about it? How do you relate with others? How do you uh, uh, run your tasks given at the place of work? Mm. So that's what I want to share with you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. May God bless you so much. Bless you too. Thank you so much, Richard. Yeah. yeah, like I was saying, spiritually, you see that there are decrees. You don't do this. Even when others have been promoted, you can be in a place and no promotion comes your way. Why? You have been given a condition, terms and conditions apply. There has been always a ceiling. That's why if you read uh, First Kings chapter 2, where I also uh, read that scripture and it opened my eyes to see what was in my family. Mm. Yes, please. Well done. Thank you so much. Your names and where you calling from? I'm Kalitas Nazima. Kalitas? Calling from Berenu. Calling from? Berenu. Berenu. Oh, hi Kalitas. Yes, now, uh, uh, there is a scenario where you find the personality of someone, like for example, like me, uh, I'm born again, mm. I'm in the church, mm. and I'm still in the church, mm. I'm a church boy. Mm. Uh, I don't, I, I, I'm not a person who speaks a lot. Mm. Uh, I'm not, I, I'm a person with my life since I was born. Mm. It, I don't think like the spirit of rejection, but my, my personality, mm. um, I'm a person who, who don't easily, uh, uh, or like, 
no, it's a chamuka chamuka. Mm. So uh, I don't know because it has been affecting me. Mm. Where well, yeah, maybe ministers uh, they don't even find uh, like people of my kind. Mm. Yeah, so I don't know how uh, how to because it has affected me. Mm. It, it, it has affected me. I I I've seen it. It has affected me. So I don't know. Uh, okay, I was asking how what okay what can I do? Mm. Because I'm careful. Um, um, I I do. I I have grown spiritually. Mm. I'm still grown. Mm. But I realized it, that it's not something else that is my personality. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know how to do because it is. I have discovered that it's also grouped under rejection. True. Yes, and I've been and I've been affected a lot. Yeah, when uh um uh the time of fellowship. Mm. Yeah, because there are some student okay, there are some uh, even when I was still a student, mm. I could see students who are you know who could stand up and and me I could sit, I could read, I could do my things slow by slow. Mm. I I pass, I stay, I go to another place and went to that. Mm. Yeah, so you can help me out on that. Because uh, I have seen it's affecting myself in churches. Okay. Thank you so much, Caritas, and thank you so much to all our viewers. That is Richard from, from is it Logazi and Bokenya, and then also Caritas from Pedere. Thank you so much. Tuena kumi ya wamasimu, a time is running so fast, a time is kusaba umgenyi wafe. Abenga kume kereza kusonga ya karita siye njini, mm. au mbile wumbilao in less than a minute, then we will go. Like I said earlier, it takes, you only do what you know. If the beautiful place is, at least he has understood where his issues are coming from. Mm. And then uh, it uh, is easier to be able, if it is about uh, personality, then, of course, we are different uh, people. Me, I am very outgoing. Mm. The people who are very reserved. So, in that, you need to understand, okay, who can I deal with? So that you are able to understand who can you actually work with. Mm. Then you are able to see and know what can be done. But still, like I was saying, some of these things, if it is spiritual, you need to understand its background, its roots. Mm. You don't remove a eucalyptus tree by cutting it. It will sprout more. You need to deal with the root, uproot mm. it. Mm. That's why, uh, for me, when I read that story of, uh, of uh, First Kings, where, where Shimei was told, build your house here, tova o wano. Mm. Stay here. The day you go out, you are dead. And did the day he went out, because his servants had gone out, he was killed. And many times, many of us have been conditioned to live that kind of life. You can't grow, you can't go beyond some limit, you don't do something extra. When others are doing, you can't go. So it affects. But like I was saying, if it is a social be, uh, bit of it, hmm. dealing with it social, like now he's saying, his angle is from the social being, from the social side. Number one, I'm sure there are people who have given him feedback. Let him embrace the feedback, especially the hurtful feedbacks. And then he can be able to uh, take uh, things one at a time. And then let him choose to respond. Okay. In many cases, we don't respond, we react. Okay. So choosing to respond will help. Well, thank you so much, Pastor. And to our viewers, I'm just going to request Pastor Daniel Jerry Tabi to just... <laughs> say greetings to, to the colleagues, to the friends, to the church members, to everyone that has been watching at Osibule, then I'll also be winding up. But thank you so much. You've been a nice audience. Doctor, you can send your greetings and then we... Yeah. All right. This is the second time you're calling me doctor and That's, I receive oh, it wow. in Jesus' name. Because <laughs> that is where I see myself going. So for me, it is very prophetic and being the first of May, what a blessing. I want to appreciate everyone who has been watching and who has been following. Indeed, hope is available. Don't think that you are alone out there. No one is an island. All of us, we go through rejections at homes, in our families, at place of work, in your relationship, in your marriage, 
as a matter of fact, even right now, as we're talking about this, there are those who are, who are already in tears, who are crying in their rooms, who have locked themselves in. Why? The pains of rejection. But you, the Lord, find somebody to talk to. Talk to someone. Share your experience with others. Pray with others. And I want to pray before even I leave today that God will continue to heal. Amen. Every broken heart, God will continue to heal. And out of the broken pieces, God will mend those broken pieces. And what will come out of these broken pieces, may it be something of value. Thank you. Okay, so our viewers, thank you so much. Just a reminder, like I told you earlier, we do have a conference running the whole of this week, starting on, uh, we started on Monday with lunch hours that are still running till Friday, but then today still we started officially that conference, the 1st of September, and uh, we've had... Um, We've had Mrs. Ruth Chugozi with the Lord is Purpose for My Life. And then tomorrow, the Thursday, the 2nd of September, we're having uh, the topics are Overcoming Rejection by Pastor Michelle Starr, yes, from the U.S. And then on Friday, we shall be having A New Woman by Mrs. Miriam Ewange. Don't miss it out. And then on Friday, on the Girls Talk Show still, we shall be handling, like, Depression, sadness, loneliness, your neighbor. Today we have got Friday named Chala Jessica Katumba and then Dr. David Kalema. And even on Friday still, there will be a mega overnight led by Samali Linda. So be there to experience what the Lord has done in the ladies' okay. lives. Yeah, as we minister to you and also keep it good at TV. Yes, Pastor Solomon at Atusem Studio with a program of the seasons. Why not leave this place? We wish you a very blessed night. Love you all. Acho, na buri chigambe chiri wanswe guru chiri kwechisera chacho. Tuagala ukubatu sako programu eno buri ruwa